Welcome back to Killer Fun, where we explore the intersection of crime and entertainment every other week. I'm Christy, and today, today, Jackie and I are still on our hiatus. We've taken a little vacation. We really appreciate that you're patient with us while we do that. And to show you our appreciation for that patience, we have outtakes, brand new, never before heard on the show, outtakes for you. Today, I have outtakes from the program, a show about the troubled teen industry that is illuminating, The Gentleman, which was just an absolutely delightful and so funny show about illicit materials being grown and distributed in England in places you would not expect. We also have a few from the episodic remake of Ripley, not from the movie that we actually covered a long time ago that was from the 90s, but this is the show that was on Netflix. And finally, outtakes from Baby Reindeer, the show that I can't seem to stop watching information about. I keep watching body language interpretation videos about baby reindeer. I just can't stop. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm so invested. So first up, we have our outtakes from the program. Jackie needs a microphone in order to record a podcast. Hello. Not only does she need a microphone, she needs coffee. And we talk about some behavior modification studies that were super unethical, but we learned so much from them in the field of psychology that, oh, it's, you very feel very conflicted about it. And flubs, of course, there's always flubs, there's flubs in all of these. Enjoy. No, you need a microphone. Oh yeah, hello, I didn't pull this over. <laughs> Sorry. Usually I do that. I Usually just sat did. down today like coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got coffee. What we else got do coffee. we need? I'm loud enough. I'm just kidding. All right. I mean, that's not untrue. <laughs> I mean, like, I do, I do pull this quite a ways. Yeah, but they're because, not condenser you know. microphones. No. Nope. So they, it would be more challenging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But I, I can see on the waveform, like, I've calmed down now. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do you need anything? I think I need coffee so bad. Okay. I can't stand it. Go for it. Oh, my God. I only had, like, a little coffee this morning. Mm. What? Daisy oh, you got up the, oh, yeah, this the morning. that I wanted to. Oh, I'm sorry. Daisy was boofing. She jumped up on the bed and was like, boof. <gasps> oh. Boof. Like, oh like, she wanted me to get up. And it's because like, Ken was actually cooking breakfast and oh. all of that. But she's all like, you have to get up, ma'am. <laughs> it's time. I don't know what's going on. I was like, Daddy's oh, my God. cooking breakfast. Simmer get down. up. You're like, <laughs> like, no, no. He's cooking breakfast so that I can stay here. Yeah, like, I don't need to move. I'm fine. And she was just like, she was so annoyed that I was not up. And you could hear her get up on the bed and kind of give up because she'd be looking at me, like standing over me, mm-hmm. like staring. Oh, oh. And then she'd give up and kind of go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And lay down for a little bit. And then she'd try again later. Oh. It was very well, I'm funny. I'm sorry she woke you up, but I'm glad at least fine. she was cute about it. She's always cute about it. I wasn't unhappy about it, but I definitely didn't get as much coffee as I needed oh, okay. for the rest of the day. <laughs> well. All right. I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> it is easy to be duped. And it's easy to lie to you about these things. And if you not really have, you don't not have, well. <laughs> Ugh, repeat. Uh-huh. And if you don't have like a base knowledge of those, so behavior yeah. modification. I mean, it started with like uh, you know thinking about you know classical conditioning and operant conditioning, but um, it evolved. And so there's some unethical studies in behavior modification oh. that are a little bit of a black stain on the history of psychology. And uh-huh. Watson is to be talked about on this. So um, he basically took a an infant, a small child, uh, toddler, and and would would give them a fuzzy white animal kind of to play with, right? Like a bunny. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and then eventually they started playing a loud, scary noise when the child is given <sighs> the... So eventually the child is afraid of white, oh. fuzzy friends uh-huh. <laughs> uh, because of the... Yes, the awful exactly. Behavior modification. The, yes, oh. the conditioning. It's like a clockwork so, orange. A little bit. <laughs> well, and so what happened though was that Christmas rolled around and he was terrified of Santa. Oh, because of the beard. Uh huh. Now, don't worry, he's fine. Okay, <laughs> he's fine. It was unethical because it's not cool. 
on the other hand, we learned a lot uh-huh. <laughs> about how because an infant is they do want to perform well when they're being watched um infant to toddlerhood but but it's a little less so mm-hmm. right because they don't right. have social norms in that way right um so we just like the animals we actually got a pretty good condition a, a pretty good picture of how this conditioning Ooh. operates uh-huh. and how how it can like generalize to other stimuli. And so we learned a lot about how our brains generalize and how they um, also can be very specific because the dog knew what bell was what. Oh, uh-huh. Right? And he, yeah. That dog, after they figured out like, what in the world is this dog doing when the footsteps are coming? Uh-huh. So then he started conditioning the bell, right? He knew the difference between the dinner bell and a different bell. Okay. But the baby couldn't tell the difference, difference between. between. So we, uh-huh. we actually learned a lot about it and it's really helpful, but it was really awful. Uh-huh. But he turned out okay, so it's okay. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's like uh, oh, a little tangent. Like the guy, they used to have a... Uh, who uh, Guinness Book of World Records? Who could mm-hmm. stay up for the longest amount of oh, time? Oh gosh! And um, there was a teenager who decided that he wasn't really good at many other things, but he could do he could do that. This was a, a oh while a while back. So he over Christmas break. He, con- he, well, before then, he contacted the Guinness Book of World Records people to uh, determine what he needed to do to make sure that it was valid. Okay. And then he d- d- stayed up a long time, like oh, 15 or 16 days. Oh, my like God. That. It was How like did he not a, die? an absurdly long time. And then be- it, he had mentioned it to somebody, and so they studied him afterwards. But he was like... 18 when he did this and he literally broke his brain he like has never been able to sleep well since then he like broke himself now he is a like seemed like a delightful Mm -hmm. fine interesting human being Mm -hmm. he's not like crazy or mean or or criminal or you mm -hmm. know murderer or any of those things that you know breaking your brain might do to you right yeah (laughs) But he said, you know, he, and now because it was so detrimental, the sleep deprivation is so detrimental for people. They, it's not something they allow to be. In the That's Guinness smart Book Award because records. it's a fatal disorder. People don't realize this. Insomnia yeah. is a fatal disorder. Yeah. If not treated, you will die. Yeah. Like, I can't believe he didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, he, and he didn't sleep for days. He slept for like. 12 or 14 hours and then he like he said he woke up and felt okay mm-hmm. and uh but of course he's not okay <laughs> not okay he's never been able to sleep well since then but it was so interesting that is really but, weird hey, that's a digression <laughs> bonus episode yep <laughs> <laughs> All of the sources that we use to inform our discussion here on Killer Fun Podcast can be found on our social media. Join us on Facebook at Killer Fun Podcast, exploring the intersection of crime and entertainment. You can find us on Twitter at Killer Fun Pod, or you can send us an email at Killer Fun Podcast at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to share a link to whatever information you're looking for. We love to hear from you. You might learn a little something too. Next up, The Gentleman. So Gentleman that we talked about on the show was the episodic series. Evidently, Guy Ritchie also directed a movie called The Gentleman. Is it related? Kind of related? I forget my words. It happens. Enjoy. So there was a 2019 movie called The Gentleman. Okay. Okay. Also directed by Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Okay. I saw that. Uh Uh-huh. I saw that was the case. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, huh? So I'm like, oh, maybe they like, you know, interlock. How are they related? Basically, not as much as you'd think. Okay. So Escapist Magazine also had the same question. And they said in terms of characters, there's no connection. It's more of an alternative take. Okay. On what they did in the movie. Gotcha. Okay. So the movie had, uh, I didn't write it down. 
Like, didn't have Matthew McConaughey. Yes. Matthew McConaughey and Charlie Hoonan mm-hmm. and, if, and uh, Michelle Dockery mm-hmm. were all okay. in the, she was in Downton Abbey. Okay. She was Lady Mary in Downton Abbey. So it's kind of a different whole take on the thing. And there's, you know, gr- a grow operation in both of them. They're yeah. both concealing cannabis on property. That is in both of them. Um, but who owns the grow operation is different. So there's, and it's there, you can't really relate them. Okay. Right. Like they, they, you can't make it fit. Okay. So now is, does Kaya is in both? Mm -mm. Cause IMDb has her listed. Oh, maybe the movie as well as the TV series. Okay. So my question was, are, are there some overlaps? And I think she's like the only one maybe. Yeah. Okay. What's her, what's her name in the movie? Um, Oh, wait. I have to click a button again. That's me. Hold on. I'm coming to it. Okay. Well, all right. Well, oh, wait. Nope. Shoot. I don't know. It updated, and now it oh, might here. be me. Yeah. It might be just me. That's fine. Let me look it up. Oh, oh, you know what? It's not IMDb. It's it's the Google. Okay. It's the Google cast has her in it. Okay. But But not the IMDb. Oh, okay. So that must be a Google error where okay. they've where they've mixed it up. Okay. Well, you then know all of saying? that will go in a bonus okay. episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. There we go. See, don't trust in everything you read online. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there are there is some. What's the word I'm looking for? Where it's like set up beforehand, so you could say, I don't know. I'm thinking of it. Uh. If you had a court case that showed that pre, <laughs> it's going to come to me. Anyway, a cl- I, all I could think was a clause. No, but like no. like like where you have, you need you, the court case precedent. Okay, there we go. Okay, Johnny Depp. Oh wow, yeah. In Alice in Wonderland, his entire screen on in that movie, his entire. <laughs> Next up, we have outtakes from Ripley, the episodic show, not the movie. My dog, Ripley, was very confused. We have a personal story about postal delivery carrier, too. It's very interesting. Enjoy. Ripley, why don't you come lay down over here? (laughs) Come here. She's like, I don't understand why I keep hearing my name. Yeah, just like my mail carry will. Right. But I have one on my house. Right. Yes. Right. Like old like old school style. Right. So it's a little different. If I'm outside, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Easy. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but you know, the same mail carriers, they mm-hmm. know the neighborhood. Yes. You know. Yeah. They're not supposed to, and they can get in a lot of trouble. They can lose their ma- their yeah. uh, their job if they hand mail to somebody. To the who, wrong person. Yeah. It's not addressed to. It's interesting that you say that because there were several months ago, I was at your house waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Like I, we had said we were going to meet at your house and you just hadn't made it back quite yet. Okay. Yeah. And so I was in front of your house. Of course I couldn't get in. Yeah. But your dogs were out. You were oh, like yeah. gone for just a short while and the dogs were in the front yard Uh huh. with me. And they and, were fine with you. And they were fine with me. And the mail carrier came by. And I'm just hanging out in the front yard, and he's like, can I hand you this? Because he didn't want to go in with your dogs. Yeah. Which I totally don't blame him at all. Oh, but yeah. also, I didn't belong there. Also, I wasn't nefarious. No, so but was also fine. the dogs see, were clearly fine. Right. Which he's seen the dogs. You know, like he knows, but uh-huh. like, yeah. But also, like, oh, this person's standing there, and the dogs aren't attacking her. Yeah, so like, probably it's okay. It's probably fine. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah. you're right. That's still a little but like... <laughs> I'm like, mm, I'm not going to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> and if Postmaster General, if you're listening, he's fine. He's it's fine. fine. He's fine. We like him. Please leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> so Tom was on the Orientic. Mm, not the Orientic. <laughs> <laughs> the Hotel Miramar. No, I'm sorry. The Hotel Miramar where... Dickie suggested that Tommy, mm-hmm. Tom, Tommy. Oh, let me just start mm-hmm. all of that over. Yeah. 
And the last set of outtakes that we have for you today is Baby Reindeer, the stalker story to end all stalker stories. There's so much controversy around this about how true it was or how not true it was and how good a job they did hiding. We're not talking about all of that, but man, I can't get enough of it. But we talk about uh, a Law & Order SVU story that... Jackie heard about that was so fun. Uh, There's a spoiler, a television conversation. We weigh in on the bear versus man debate a little bit. We had talked about that uh, another time as well, but we talk about it a little more here. We talk about how Jackie and I watch shows differently. British cooking and flubs, of course, they're flubs. Enjoy. Some yeah. iteration of Law and Order has like yes. been on since the dawn of man. I mean, the I mean forever. Like, and I was obsessed with SVU. Uh-huh. Like Benson, Olivia Benson was such a hero. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh my God! Did you hear that about like? Okay, they were filming. They were on set. And Mariska Hargis Hay was like in character, like she was dressed in her normal like like police gear, or whatever right. for yeah. the scene as Olivia Benson, and this. It wasn't like a totally like closed set. It was on the street. It was on location. And a young girl, like a little girl, stumbled upon the set having lost her mom and walked straight up to Mariska Hargitay and was like, officer, officer, oh. and spoke to her. And in true character, because Mariska has played this character for so long, she's, she actually knows, she probably could just transition to being a real cop yeah. with no problem, yeah. right? But she did. She turned around and like did not even break character. Oh. Apparently, she went straight in and knew exactly what to do and how to calm her down and like got people involved oh. and reunited this little girl with her family. Oh. But the little girl at no point realized she was a, a, an actress. Yeah. Oh, because well, I'm so glad that the little girl didn't realize that because that means she would have seen SVU. And I can't hardly watch SVU. I love it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. But it's one of the, that's the problem I have with Law and Order. It's just too many time. I know it's real life. I know it mirrors real life yeah. in a way Yeah. that very often mm-hmm. the perpetrator does not get what's coming to them. Right. And that's the problem. Yes. That's the thing they and deal with. That, right. Exactly. Yeah. That's what they deal with. Mm-hmm. But me as a consumer of the show <laughs> I has, a, has a hard time dealing with that. I need the happy ending. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Exa- exactly. You know, people but, say they, they, I don't want the happy ending. Yeah, they do. Baloney. Yes, you do. The reason that <laughs> so many great movies are like yes. not well received is because they don't have the happy ending. Yeah. A, or at least a congruence. A, a, yeah. A, a resolution mm-hmm. that feels satisfying. Yeah. Something. But like, I was so like impressed with her uh-huh. with that. So That's anyways. So sweet. Then uh, the last thing, Donnie learns some alarming things about Martha's past at the end of this episode. Mm-hmm. And right up until this point, I thought he was like maybe a little clueless. And then he does a little action that I'm not going to give away at the end of the episode. I was like, I was with you right up until then, honey. When he accepts the Facebook friend request. Yeah, he accepts the request. I'm like, that'll be in a bonus episode because I don't want to spoil it. But if you have to have a television or television you know what? I'm not having television conversations. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing. That's things that people like Martha do when they've fallen deeper into psychosis. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just Which is why women bed. chose a bear over men <laughs> yes. in the woods. And even then, so hypothetically, somebody put up a hypothetical poll. Would you rather run into a man or bear in the woods? Yeah. And women overwhelmingly chose bear. And men had a real problem with that. A lot of men did. A lot of men really, really did. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's a hypothetical thought exercise, and you still won't take no yeah. for an answer. Right. No wonder right. we want to run into the bear. Yeah. 
like it's a it's a trolley problem of our of our generation. But the issue also is like I, I heard a man put it this way, and it really like wow, yeah, you said the thing. Uh, he was like, women would rather be killed mm. because the the damage that men have done to them kill the soul. Right. And not the body. Right. Even though the body is abused. Right. And so women would just rather be killed than be treated the way that they are by men. And that as far as he was concerned, like that was the most devastating thing he'd ever heard. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's the truth. Women that's- would rather fight the bear and have an honest fight where they're in the game and just freaking lose. Right. We'd rather die. Yeah unalive ourselves as we like to say mm-hmm. now on social media which by the way is not a moral high ground it's to avoid the algorithms so come at me yeah oh yes. yeah no it's so that you don't get sucked yeah on. so die i mean i don't understand they, they deploy the algorithm and that's one of the words and i get statistically i get it but like just so you're aware when i say like killed and die like i'm not trying to be offensive right. but the unalive thing is to try to avoid the algorithm that is trying to you know suss out the things that are mm-hmm. legitimately bad versus people talking about human experiences right. and so we can help them by using the word unalive sure. and that's fine because nobody has time to read everything that's posted on facebook so get fine with the bots and go on with your life yeah this is i've got oh that's another bonus episode i could just go on and on and on okay back to this back to this yes baby reindeer i'm back i'm back i'm back okay oh my god it's the numbers so it's lost it's It's the cursed numbers it's the numbers that's pretty fantastic i mean i love that what an easter egg i know i love that right i'm so glad somebody else figured it out because i never would have because i wouldn't have thought to look at it i was so focused on other things oh yeah well i would have never even thought to look at it because you don't watch in the obsessive boring ass way that i watch well no 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 you watch it wonderfully i think i just watch it from a um, you you take it in it's a humanities uh-huh. story right i'm yes. looking at behavior which means i'm also judging acting and like so i, I i'm judgy yeah that's fine you're allowed to be judgy <laughs> right like i'm judgy about some things but like in general yeah no i tend to not i miss the easter eggs yeah that's fine. Yeah. But well, that was great. I'm here, to, I'm here to try and find them. Yes. So good. <laughs> Beef mince pies. Okay. That sounds great. Like huh? empanadas, but British Basically. styles. <laughs> British Basically. style empanadas. Probably a little uh, less savory or less, uh, mm. maybe they don't have as much uh, flavor as it's empanadas. It's not spicy, might. maybe. Right. Or maybe not as much flavor. The British are not known for their no, but I I have a I have a tongue for this. Uh huh. Okay. I like the yeah subtle flavors. Yeah, the, yeah. So yeah. yeah. And it's when the change of saying the same finally outweigh or the or the I'm sorry. Killer fun. Yeah. Killer fun at gmail. Killer fun podcast at gmail dot com. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. We really do appreciate it. We know that you, we don't come on the radio, that you just choose to download us, and we are honored that you spend time with us. We really, really are. Hey, if you have a friend who you think might like the show, please tell them, because it is way more fun when you listen with a friend. Rate and review wherever you get your podcasts. You know, reach out on the social media. That's always great. We love to hear from you. And next time, we're going to have one more episode of Outtakes. More fresh, brand new material while we are gone. And until then, be safe, be kind, and wash your hands. Bum, 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 bum,